we have a new one? You would like this. I'm about to make breakfast and I realized that we've had oranges in the backyard for about a year now. I've tried it when we first moved in and they were really sour. And they're organic too, so at a dollar something per pound, I think I'm saving money. This is a lot of people's dream. We'll see how it turns out. In the last vlog, like every vlog, I asked you guys what you guys want to see in the next one. And you guys said... So here's me baking breakfast. Abby, you want to go outside? breakfast now and we're having breakfast tacos with sausage, potato, eggs, and shallots and salsa. And I'm using these zero carb tortillas. Apparently carbs are bad for you, right? As a Chinese person, carb is life. Do you guys think these bananas are ripe yet? Do you think these are ripe yet, babe? How did they change overnight? <laughs> Damn, putting in that work. Is anybody else like me? They're comfy, what can I say? I think these are navel oranges. I don't, I'm not really sure, but. Is this a taco or what shape is this? This is a chalupa? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like it. Why is this so sweet? When you start selling these. Wow. Last year they were they were really sour. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. By the way, I noticed that most of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel yet. So if you haven't already, subscribe. It's not gonna spam like your feed or anything it just lets me know that you like the video it also lets YouTube know that you like my videos or these type of videos so that it can recommend you more of these <sighs> well breakfast is really fitting <laughs> I think we're just gonna go buy some stuff and then pack up for tomorrow we're gonna go camping last week I asked you guys what you guys want to watch and you guys said so we're gonna go camp I'm telling y'all man I read your comments I read your comments make sure you let me know what you guys want to see more in this channel You want me to see when it's coming in? Um, no, it's okay. It's usually right here in this area. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those things that comes in. And Probably sold out. Thank you. All right, you're Appreciate so welcome. It. Sorry we don't have that. No anymore. worries. Yeah. Trader Joe's Hall. Now we're finally all packed up. I got all the food in here. Just gotta get some diesel for the diesel heater so it doesn't run out on me again. <laughs> Last night it got so freaking cold. The diesel heater died. And then we'll be good. Ready? Does the diesel feel really smelly in here then? Like no. after you fill it? Diesel actually has less of a smell than gasoline. Oh my god, it is so hot today guys. It feels like 80, but it's really not 80. I saw that the weather is gonna be really cold up there, so I bundled up. I even had a vest on top of this because inside the house was actually really cold. Does anybody else have a house like that where it's colder in the house than outside? 
Okay. Hang on, hold them. I have this noise coming from my car, most likely from the AC, but I don't know why it's happening. I don't know if you could help me. If anybody knows, let me know. So when I turn it to the high settings, there's this whistle sound. It pierces her ears. But then on the low settings, it goes away. Weird. We have been driving for about an hour and a half now and it's taking us, well, let me show you. Because of a lot of the road closures, the map is just going crazy right now. But bro, I sense. am not going through that. <laughs> that does not seem right. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna look at the map and see. <laughs> so it seems like we won't be able to go to the campground that I went to last time. And... I mean, we can't. <laughs> This is a hidden gem in LA. Like it's my favorite campground and we haven't been able to go to it for a little over a year now besides the last time that I was there. They just keep closing all these roads, man, because of a little rain that we've been getting. I mean, it's a lot of rain, but still. We did pass by a campground earlier that seemed okay. I guess we'll check it out. All right, we are here. It's cute. It's cute, yeah, there's, yeah, there's water too, creek. yeah. Oh, I like it. There's quite a few neighbors though. But that's okay. Probably just set up and cook. I'm pretty hungry. Me too. Nabi, you ready to go, go camping? Glamping got elevated today because of this tent. <laughs> My first time using it. Let's see how it is. Sounds of nature. Now on to the really cool part of this tent. <laughs> All right, so do we just push up the tent? And it looks super comfy, but it's gonna go from this to this. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> this is their smallest tent, but so spacious, bigger than any of ours that we already have. And the brand is Olazy. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Yo, but check it out though, this setup. It looks so nice. There's that canopy right there. So we can have some shade. Really nice. Woo, thank you guys at Olazy for sending us this tent. <sighs> to be completely honest with you right now, I don't feel too good. I think I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day and it's almost five o'clock, 4.49. Perishable foods first. I can't cook right now, I need a snack. I need a snack. Babe, come here. <laughs> Some kind of cracker. Chicken salad. These are good. Hello, God. Hello, good. We only pay for one night first, because we don't know how we feel by tomorrow. I think we might stay two nights, right? Mm-hmm. I want to stay two nights, but we'll see how the neighbors are and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm Rotisserie seasoned chicken salad. White meat chicken in a savory, creamy dressing. Mm. I feel like this is way too much food. And also, it could barely fit inside this tray. Wow. On top or on the side? Uh, uh, it got chilly. The sun Ooh, is gone. I know, what? what? I know. <laughs> Literally a burnus. Oh no, I'm a broccoli head. <laughs> I am officially a broccoli head. Oh no. Oh, good thing I got rid of my BMW. Used to go flatter and flatter, but yours continues to rise. <laughs> Just chili oil. Mmm. Bye bye, Jane. You really have to do this one first because I feel like the dumpling skin would definitely go after tonight.
I honestly didn't think these were even hard, but they are very, very sharp at the tip and they are stiff. Look at this. I'm like trying to bend them, but you fall on that, you a goner. <laughs> Do you think normally cars go through here or this is just like a... Okay, let's go. Let's go, Navi. You have a cute outfit. <laughs> Actually, let's sew it. Okay, okay, well, this is from Snow Peak. This is Easy Sundays. And then my pants, these are, what are they called? Wondery? Oh, Wondery. Wondery Outdoors. And this is the brew color. My shoes are morels. Okay, you want to show yours? <laughs> Not really, but Does I... anybody want to see his outfit? Okay. <laughs> This actually is really nice. This is from Muji. I do like the oversized look. This is from Daring Chicken. And then these pants are from Uniqlo. And then shoes, New Balance 2002R. What about you, Navi? Navi. What's your outfit? Oh, little, 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 little howler. And then this leash, shout out to our friends. This is from Little Howler. Our friends make these. And they make leashes and collars from Climbing Rope. This one is the Granite Gray, which is super soft. The eight millimeter. And this one is good for small dogs. They have thicker ones for bigger dogs, but this is the smaller one and we really like it. It's super soft and you can wrap it around your waist. So this one just goes around your waist like this so you can be hands-free. It's only been about like 20 minutes since we ate the dumplings. I'm already hungry again, man. Let's see, what do we have? It is a Japanese lacquer from San Diego. The packaging, very nice. You need something? Uh, I'm gonna see what there is to eat. Oh. <laughs> you want kimbap? You wanna share this? Mm, it's soft already. I wanted something warm. Look at how poof for up. Oh, poof for up. Oh! oh. This was in my mouth and it hit my knee causing the chops to go <laughs> They're actually really good. I remember when I saw them online. I think it was like a year ago when they were like Viral? Thinking viral Ta-da! Is this a tree? Huh do you know if there's anyone that would want a treat? Mm. Hmm. I wonder if anybody would want a treat. Maybe somebody can get a treat if they come up. <laughs> <laughs> She's very respectful in that way. I know. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Maybe can you can you say? <laughs> So the thing I was worried about most earlier before coming was the diesel heater not working. But now it's kicking so strong. I need to take my pants off actually. It's kind of warm. Whaley just took off her jacket. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer though that we didn't get to go camp at the other spot. It's a little further, but that's also the reason why not a lot of people go there because it is further and it's a little more away from the big main road. Right now we constantly keep hearing cars pass by. What are you doing, Nami? <laughs> I have a pretty bad headache, so I think I'm gonna head to bed. Um, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. It's like 144 right now. I just had to go outside to use the restroom when it's cold outside. But in here, it's so warm. I need to go back to sleep. So last night I really thought, you know what? We really didn't need 
the diesel heater. I mean, we really didn't, but it was really nice. It's actually really cold outside right now. So this is a diesel heater that we got. I got it on Amazon. There's like a bunch of them. Silvel. 200 bucks on Amazon and then what I did do is buy a uh, exhaust for it so it's very quiet without that exhaust it's pretty annoying it's not loud but it's annoying and then I bought this flexible host so then I got this and then I also got this I'm sure you can make something better but for time's sakes I just wrapped a towel around it to protect the tent um you can get one of these like swivel I don't know what to call this this anyways you could definitely do something better than just a towel with a rubber band this is my Yeti 500X yesterday it was at 94% when I came so now it's at 56% and it's been 12 hours not bad at all somebody said that the way I put on skincare was too rough is it really though I admit it I think I kind of do last time I did ask you guys for a recommendation for eye cream and guess what somebody in the comments recommended this one see I read the comments Michael actually uses this one too and he says it's really good for moisturizer this is the one that I use right now it's very thick and moisturizing but not greasy as I'm getting older we should be using something with SPF this is the one that I'm using right now and as you can tell I've been using it rose hip seed lip cream that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Since Navi's already awake, time to make her breakfast. I'm gonna make a matcha latte. What? Mmm, that was pretty good. Mmm, that oat milk too. Nice and frothy. About to make lunch, finna get crunk. Got some chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's, two eggs, and some green onion. Oh, my bone, fuck down. This is for the fried rice, right? Yeah. Hey, my first time. Yeah, but I you. Hey, you. Hey, what's that? 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 You know you're getting old when you find watercress on the river and you're just like pump. Maybe some of you guys can let me know if this is really watercress. Mm, I'm she's very skeptical. Over there? Yeah, all that in the in the river. Look at that. So all of that. So this right here. See the leaves really look like watercress. I'm gonna pick some and then go home. 
and then make a soup out of it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Good girl. Yeah! Look at that. There's like nothing. No sediment, no nothing. You don't ever want to like grab too much from one area. It's a little bit of everywhere. I'm sourcing responsibly. You're providing. <laughs> I'm providing for my family. I'm a provider. What kind of plant is this? Lays in the wild? Oh, what? Ew, it's like filled with water. I got my feet wet. And I didn't bring my Tevas, but then I was like, babe, can I fit your Tevas? What do y'all think? <laughs> the provider's back. I got more. <laughs> it's a good little bunch for, for one soup. How did my shoes go? Oh, they are um, they are doing very well. <laughs> they serve the family. They <laughs> It's like it a Chinese fire, yeah. Basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so good. Cheers to another camping trip. Cheers. It's like bow zai fan without the bow zai. <laughs> it's just a pang zai fan. Wow, gao la. Mmm. This pang zai fan is really good. Pan zai fan, you may have. Don't you know, fan, you've got a guy who you, toy san chai fan, more go. Not you. Not you, say shun tea, may you. Come on, chung. I get young, I don't you get that. Imagine if we had a fried egg right now, we would put on top. As you can tell, it's really windy right now. And I think we're just gonna pack up and go because, from experience, nothing good comes out of a windy day of camping. You down to go home, babe? I wanted to stay, but I don't care. This isn't like the most amazing campsite. Well, I don't let's mind. go home. All right, we are all packed up, ready to leave. But before I leave, I saw a lot of trash around. So I just want to fill it up a little bit. Trust me, there's a lot. I saw a lot of trash down here where the river is. And I think people just come down here to chill, but then they also just leave all this trash around. That looks like toilet paper, I'm not touching that. Firewood stuff. Whatever this is. Actually a pretty nice towel. You see any trash around? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Could we go around? No, there's like oncoming cars on the other side too. And then I see some flashing. I was like, paramedics? It's two people right there. Oh my god! Oh my god, a car flipped. Yeah. That's why the ambulance that we saw earlier. That's the thing about Highway 2 out here. So many people come here to drive fast. I talked about it in the last video that people love coming here. I don't know if any of you guys can agree with me, but unpacking is honestly the saddest thing. It's like you just live your life and then it gets taken away. This bag. It's huge. This bag is like that meme with the rock. Me going to my girlfriend's house for one night sleepover. <laughs> it's